While U.S. President Barack Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney were nearing the end of a very tight race, Americans in Israel are making their voices heard by lodging absentee ballots. I Vote Israel is an organization which is encouraging U.S. citizens in Israel to vote in the November elections. On Tuesday night, the organization held an open house at the Orthodox Union Center in Jerusalem, helping Americans fill out forms and cast their ballots for the next president. Congratulations, you voted. Voted, good. We expect that we'll be seeing three to four times more Americans voting in this election than has ever voted before. In Monday's final presidential debate before the elections, both candidates said they would stand by Israel if it was attacked by Iran. It's a very tight election, um, which helps a lot. When you have a very close race, people want to get involved. And also a lot of the issues that have been discussed in the election um, are really relevant to us. Issues such as Iran, issues such as the state of Jerusalem. It was a major topic of discussion at both the Republican and the Democratic conventions. I Vote Israel opened their doors at 7 p.m. and before 8, it was standing room only. Both domestic and foreign concerns were determining factors for the American Israelis who finalized their decisions on Tuesday night. I'm concerned about which party has the best policy domestically for the United States and which party has uh, the uh, interests of Israel both uh, at heart. And uh, I remember I read somewhere that President Eisenhower asked uh, Prime Minister Ben-Gurion what what can we do for you, meaning Israel? And Ben-Gurion replied, make America, keep America strong. So I have to also figure out which of, the, which of the two parties will keep America strong, as well as considering their uh, interest in Israel. Um, healthcare is my number one concern. Uh, my number two concern is, of course, the economy. Of course, being in Israel, I'm very concerned about the situation with Iran um, and how that's going to be handled if we have a new president. Even though those of us uh, who are Americans who live here, we don't live in America anymore. We still operate as American citizens. So all the rights and duties, many of us pay taxes, many of us still have jobs there, uh, many of us still have assets there. Um, we're very connected to life there. And there's a real concern of that. Uh, plus, recognizing that what's good for Israel is always good for America. I Vote Israel will hold its eighth and last debate between representatives of Democrats and Republicans abroad Israel on Sunday night at the AACI Center in Jerusalem. This will also be the last chance for Americans to cast their votes from Israel before the elections.